Hello, my name is Shallow. This game is Fallout 3. We're still in our Reifu. Hey, buddy. What are you looking at? Um, uh, you know what I've just realized we can do? Uh, our medical skill wasn't high enough to really check in on these corpses in here. Yeah. We need Medicine 30. We're only a few points away, but we're not going to level up for quite some time. But what we can do is pop a Mentat. That gives us Intelligence plus 2. That should give us a boost to our medical skill. Yes, and now we can see that the bodies of the Wests have bite marks on the neck area that go to the bone. So the Wests have been bitten to death. <laughs> hey, Karen. Uh, did you know the Wests are dead? What? Oh my god. King has to do something about this now. Tell him to get off his ass and hunt those bastards down. You want one old man to hunt a gang? Okay, Karen. I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? I haven't seen any of the West since we were told to head indoors. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Sure. Go. What a rude lady. Oh, look out. Sorry, Noodle. Oh! Uh, look at you two. You're matching. That's adorable. What are you doing in here? Uh, did you know the Wests are dead? Son of a bitch. I knew the family were going to cross the line. It was only a matter of time. <laughs> Maybe it's time I cut my losses and ran. But it just isn't fair. I made my home here. Why should I have to leave? I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? Nope. Everyone stays inside. Except Evan King, of course. Right, okay. Good. Now get out. Everybody just has the same thing to say. What about Good you, crazy you. lady? Hey there, sweetie. Hi. You said that without moving your mouth. That was very weird. Did you know the Wests are dead? Dead tired, I bet, from the square dance in the barn last night. What a time we had. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, I'm looking for Ian. If I recall, he and the boys are probably at the lake fishing. Those scallions. There's no telling what monkey shines they'll get into next. Monkey shines. Are you batshit insane or what? Well now, there's no cause for name calling. How rude. I have a pie cooling on the windowsill I must attend to. Good day. Lady, you do not even have windows. Hey there, sweetie. Oh, she's still nice to me, even after I insulted her. Interesting. Bye bye. Come back soon. Okay. Uh, hey, Evan. You found something. Well, you're not gonna like it. How's the search going? Any sign of Ian? The Wests had bite marks on their necks. Mean anything to you? Bite marks on their necks? That's the strangest thing I've ever heard. The family must have attack dogs with them or something. Oh, this is all I needed right now. What am I going to do? They'll keep coming back until all of us are dead. Well, I have to go now. Next time I see the family, there's going to be hell to pay. <laughs> One old man. Yeah, you're going to you're going to make all the difference. Oh. Noodle, come along. We're going to solve these people's problems for them. Uh, he gave me a couple places to search, right? Here we go. Yeah, Moonbeam. Hamilton Hideaway, Northwest Seneca Station. I'm pretty sure if I remember this quest right, Seneca Station is where they're at. Unless, like I said before, there's a possibility this quest randomly places the entrance somewhere. I'm not entirely certain how this one works. There's also a little hut over there. It's conveniently right on the way to one of these points of interest we want to check out, so... Oop, we got... We got hostiles. I want to try out this police pistol. I don't have a whole lot of ammo for it, but it is pretty good. Despite being in poor condition. <gasps> Scorpion! Oh, Noodle, help me out. Oh, help me! I don't think I brought my anti-venom with me. Oh, no. Uh. Oh. 
I forgot about scorpions in Fallout 3. There's totally venomous animals in this game. There we go. Ooh. Doodly, you okay? You're probably fine. Can I check your health with... Oh, I can't check your health with this. Cool. Because I have hardcore mode on now, my followers can permanently die. <laughs> So I'm going to have to be a little more careful about Noodle. Boredom Flash Memorial. This is not one of the locations they told me to check. Baseball. Oh, and there's a bat. <laughs> no way. What is this? A glove? You could play a whole game here. There's another baseball. Anything in the outfield? No. Okay. I want to use this uh, laser pistol more. I love the uh, designs of the energy weapons in Fallout 3, and I never really use them because I don't think... I don't think I usually invest in the energy weapon skills all that much. Maybe, maybe we'll do that this time around. Well, this has got to be the theater, right? Oh! Oh no, minor dehydration. That's not good. And the Mentats has worn off. Ugh! <laughs> Centaurs are so gross, I love them. What is that? What is that? Oh, super mutant. Just one? It's just one, yeah. Oh no, Noodle, look out! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Uh... Shoot his arm off, I guess. Oop, hang on, hang on. Nice. I wish the sounds for the laser pistol were a little better. It's, it's a little unsatisfying to shoot compared to regular ballistic weapons. Bunch of medical supplies. All right. I don't think we're going to find the family here. Not if it's been settled by super mutants. Oh, more cigarettes. I don't remember what you need these glass pitchers for. I remember... I remember thinking I need those glass pitchers for something. Which is why I'm picking them up. Hopefully... Hopefully I will remember. <laughs> or I'll just have glass pitchers clogging up my inventory, I don't know. Alright, I'm dehydrated and starving now. Lovely. Mole rats? Anything else? No? Just the mole rats? Ooh, a stealth boy. Oh, here they come. You had yourself a fun little end of the world party here. Some beers, mac and cheese, some cram, another teddy bear. Yep. Into the sea. Where's that? Oh, there's a little hut. We're kind of circling around it, I guess. Is this where that? Yeah, this is the hideaway. Ooh. All right. We'll check that out in a moment. 
I want to I want to see what's in this hut first. Did you hear something explode? I think I just heard something explode. Anything in here? Oh, you're 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 having lunch. OK. What's up? Hey there. Hi. You're just a salesman. You, you sell stuff and repair stuff. OK. Um. All right. Let me sell you some of this junk. I just Everything picked up. Everything has its price. Take a look and make me an offer. No, no point carrying this around until I can get back to Megaton. Let's just offload it now, I guess. Ooh, you sell a metal helmet. I'll take that. Anything else good? Ooh, empty Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle. Where did you get that? <laughs> That's all the way on the other side of the country, my friend. Neat. All right. A pleasure doing business with you. Likewise. Yeah, see you. Weird. That's you, secure for a reason. Do you live here? You have no roof and you only have like two half walls. All right. Weird. Um, let's put this helmet on. Yes. Oh, it's it doesn't have the guns and explosives bonus, but everything else about it is better than the other helmet. And it looks cooler. We can actually see Liam Neeson's face now. Perfect. Let's uh, probably eat something as well, since we're beginning to starve. Ant bits, load fly meat. Let's uh, let's get rid of the bloat fly meat first. Oh, nice. It tells me up there. Perfect. Do I have any water? Purified water. Cool. <laughs> Crazy wolf gang. What are you shooting at over there? Mole rat? Just a mole rat. What's Got up, buddy? Junk to unload? I'm buying. I just unloaded some Welcome, junk. Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolfgang's traveling junk store. The depot of detritus, the shop of slop, and the caravan of crap. Now, what odds and ends can I, the craziest of all possible Wolfgangs, offer to you? <laughs> <laughs> There's something about saying that sentence in a really calm manner that's <laughs> very unnerving. <laughs> what do you sell? Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need, assuming you need the random junk that I've got. Just junk, huh? A demolition charge. You know, some people call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. You have another rocket launcher schematic, so maybe... Maybe we still need multiple schematics for that. Because Moira sells one as well. Or we just have multiple different ways to get it. Um, let's pick up some 12 gauge shells. You can always use shells. We're always running out of those. Give me a shout if you need anything else. All right. Good luck out there. And maybe the next time. You'll find something interesting for me, huh? Yeah, maybe. See you later, Wolfgang. Wolfgang of above average craziness. Dehydrated again. Damn it. I wonder if the sprint mod makes you get dehydrated faster. Probably. I wasn't paying attention to that when I installed it because I originally wasn't planning on doing hardcore mode, but you know. Tin can. The reason I'm picking up tin cans is because uh, eventually we will be able to craft uh, ammunition out of them. And that's going to be useful. What? 
This is a cave-in. What is this place? This is creepy as shit. More cans. They barely weigh anything, so you might as well pick them up. Ooh, toolbox. Electron charge pack, a nail gun. Oh, there's hostiles down here. Let's check this room out first. This seems safe. Okay, there's a vault down here. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. So, probably not the family, though. Probably not on the right track to find them here. Bottle cap mine. <laughs> Those are way too dangerous for me right now. Um, my explosive skill is not high enough to effectively use those. I'll just blow myself up. But I think I can disassemble them. Uh, not here. I think a reloading bench lets me disassemble those and get caps back out. Oh, here we go. My explosives need to be at 30 to do it. Wait, if I put my other hat back on. <laughs> let me let me put on my thinking hat. Now can I do it? Now I can do it, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Sweet. Noodle. <sighs> Wait here. You were just useless. Getting stuck in the ground all the time. Oh. Is this like the, uh... These catwalks through the cave, like, to the entrance... ...of the vault? Like, Vault 101 had that cave outside of it. Oh, nice. <laughs> Maybe that's what this is for a different vault. Sledgehammer? Dead end? Alright, a lot of cave-ins. Noodle, are you unstuck now? I'm here. Maybe there's nothing down here. This is a hideaway. Maybe... Maybe everything just caved in. The vault is inaccessible. Somebody came along and just used this as a little, uh, hidey hole. No. Noodle, you're in the way. There we go. Dead raiders. And we're actually inside the vault now. Is it more scorpions? It is. figure out the rate of fire on this thing. <laughs> Seems really inconsistent. How are you doing, Noodle? You're doing okay for health? You're not getting poisoned? I don't know if Night Stalkers are immune to venom normally, or resistant to it at least. It's possible. 
Um, in any case, Noodle won't be, since he's just using Dog Meat's stat block, essentially. Uh, I've just swapped out his model and his sounds, but he's otherwise identical to Dog Meat in every way. He's he's not a true Night Stalker. <laughs> oh, here comes another one. It's running. It's afraid. Oh no, that's so many. Look out, Noodle. Where'd you go? Yeah, don't want you running too far ahead. You'll end up meeting a whole bunch of scorpions all at once, and I won't be able to save you. I'm glad they brought the scorpions back for Fallout 3, but they are a lot less threatening than they were in the old games. Fallout 1 rat scorpions were enormous. Like, these ones are big, but... Fallout 1 rat scorpions were like the size of a car. <laughs> it was terrifying. Fallout 4 makes them bigger again. They're still not as big as they, they originally were, but they are... Properly scary in four. I don't know what it is about the Fallout 3 engine games. A lot of stuff in these is smaller than it should be. As much as I don't really like 4's art direction, the sizes of things they did a much better job in that game. Power armor's huge, sentry bots are huge. It's glorious. Ah, I'm freaking over and covered again. Hang on. <laughs> Gotta go take a big dump. Noodle, don't look. Alright. Another dead guy. He's got a Blastmaster helmet. I could uh, use that to repair my other one. Eh, it's already in pretty good condition. Whatever, let's repair it. The alternative is just leaving that helmet behind, so... Might as well get some use out of it. Oh, hello! <laughs> Excuse me, rad roaches. I'm gonna have to repair this, uh... Laser pistol already when I get back home. Condition's starting to go down pretty fast. Unfortunately. Starting to jam up on me already. Let's use the 10 millimeter pistol then. Oh! Tear you up. <laughs> I was not expecting human enemies. <laughs> Where did you guys come from? Were you hiding in here from the scorpions? Noodle, you blocked my shot. They owed me caps. You okay? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> he just watched his friend die. He's got depression. Oh. Noodle, you bit his nuts to death. An axe. Cool. Oh. <laughs> Noodle, I need to strap a backpack to you. Silence 22. Cool. Did he not have ammo for that thing? He had... He had cases, but no actual ammo. Huh. What have we got on the terminal? Whoa! Okay, not a whole lot. Hang on, let me let me check my inventory stuff and then I'll I'll read some of that. July nineteenth, twenty seventy-seven. Finally done. 
Maggie wanted us to sign up at a vault shelter, but I've never trusted those bastards. It took a lot of work, but Frank helped me get all the parts together and hauled out to the acreage to build this shelter. Air filtration, chemical toilets, artesian well, the whole nine yards. Frank's connections got us the generator cheap, too, and we don't have to worry about sharing quarters with whoever got their name on some waiting list when the day comes. Wish I could say if the day comes, but it just seems like a matter of time now. How could it have come to this? December 24th, 2077. Robin wanted to play with the computer for Christmas, so I siphoned some juice from the fusion generator to power this old thing. I know she'd rather be playing outside in the snow, but she's a good kid. Knows that we can't go outside yet. I'll check the fallout levels again tomorrow while she's playing, but I doubt we'll be heading out anytime soon. Damn commies must have hit us hard. December 25th, 2077. Mari Crossmas, cute kid, huh? February 13th, 2078. I don't believe it. Frank showed up today. He was on a sales trip when the blast hit, selling generators to a mining operation in Pennsylvania. Being in those shafts probably saved his life, but the shockwave also knocked out every power line feeding them light and air. Falling debris killed the foreman standing right next to him. He doesn't even know how long he was crawling around those tunnels before he got outside, the poor bastard. Sounds like the water's boiling. Some hot soup will do him good, even if it's that powdered crap we hauled in here last year. February 14th, 2078. Frank's in bad shape. Arms and face are all burned up. He's got a lot of blisters that look infected. He went through hell out there, hardly anybody alive, and those he met almost did him in. He tried getting into a vault near Burkittsville. They wouldn't open up and he was almost killed in an ambush on his way out of there. He said those folks wore skins of men. Cannibal bastards must just wait for their next meal to come looking for help at the vault. Frank steered clear of them and headed straight here after that. He's been on his feet for weeks. <laughs> this is like four months after the nukes hit and people are already forming cannibal raiding tribes. February 28th, 2078. His hair was falling out within a week of him showing up. I wanted to believe we could save him, but there's no way a few iodine tablets a day was going to reverse the radiation he must have been exposed to out there. He was a good man. He deserves better. But I can't go out there and give him a proper burial. Maggie's going to stay up with Robin and let her play some holotapes loud tonight. That's when I'll take Frank in the back and cremate him. I wish our furnace was big enough to hold him in one piece. God help us. How could it have come to this? Horrifying. Alright. Come along, Noodle. I wonder if the rest of them are still down here as ghouls. Possibly. So this is not even a vault tech facility. This is just... Some dude dug this out. <laughs> That's crazy. Is this the whole place? Um, local map. No, there's another tunnel over there. I'm just going the wrong way. Right? Yeah. Here we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Requires key. Oh, there's a bunch of good stuff in there. Where do I get the key? Noodle. All right. Well, anything else we haven't explored yet? No, uh, we pretty much looked around everywhere. Must have missed it, though. It's got to be in here somewhere. You know what's something I didn't fully appreciate about Fallout 4 at the time? Is that keys in that game, the key models, all have these glow-in-the-dark keychains attached to them. And I thought that was so goofy when Fallout 4 first came out, but, uh... To be honest, I... I kind of get it. I prefer it. <laughs> Coming back to Fallout 3, keys are... Boy, they just blend in with everything. 
it is a little goofy to have a big glow in the dark keychain on absolutely every key. But, uh, you know, it's it's a goofy setting. And frankly, I think you gotta make some concessions for gameplay. Is it realistic? No. Is it, uh, conducive to a smoother gaming experience? Absolutely. And I think that's gotta be worth something. Alright, I'm giving up. Wherever this key is, it's just gonna stay hidden. My inventory's full, and I'm... Oh, my, uh, thirst and hunger needs are steadily increasing, so... Let's just get going. We've got one more spot to check out. For the family, let's, uh, head on over there. It's gotta be where they're all hiding, right? It's this one. But there is another location up that way. We'll check it out another time. Hopefully we don't run into any opposition out here. Fighting in the dark and in the rain is no fun. This building's over here, so that's uh, Arifu over there. It makes sense that the family would be hiding out just in these buildings. Northwest Seneca Station. Can we go inside any of these? Tin cans. Oh, we can. There's a grocer. This one's all boarded up, though. Yeah, no getting in there. And, of course, the station itself. Yeah, let's check the grocer before we head down there. Uh, wait, where was it? Here we go. Oh, it's the radio. I heard a voice. We got rad roaches. Eat a dick. <laughs> a lot of food in here. Nice. And an easy floor safe. And money. Oh, that's all the terminal does? Alright, I could have saved myself a bobby pin. Oh, well. Give me some of them cigarettes. I love the uh, security cameras in Fallout 3. They have the HAL 9000i on their texture. <laughs> That's a great little Easter egg. Bunch of beer. I can't believe 200 years after the apocalypse, nobody has raided the grocery store yet. I mean, clearly somebody has, but they left stuff behind. It's wild that this place hasn't been totally cleared out by now. All right, not a whole lot to this grocery store, actually. Uh, just stocked up on empty bottles, pretty much. <laughs> we'll fill those up with drinking water as we go. Well, uh, now, if it isn't the little saint from the vault. Hi. We've been looking for you. Someone's put quite a price on your head. Why? Why? You think you can walk around the wasteland doing the things that you do, and there isn't going to be someone who takes notice? Such a shame. I hear that you could have been something <laughs> useful. Ah, well. Time to die. Freaking Talon Company. It's such a weird mechanic in Fallout 3. <laughs> no, by the way, they do not ever explain who has hired them to hunt you down. <laughs> And frankly, so far, I haven't even done a whole lot. <laughs> I've helped a handful of people, and most of it has not been antagonizing any other group. So I'm not I'm not sure who hired Talon to hunt me down. <laughs> it's a very weird thing to do. Uh, the same thing happens if you I mean, the reason this is happening, first of all, is because my karma has gotten too high. If your karma gets too high, Talon Company comes after you. 
If your karma gets too low, the regulators come after you. And the regulators are a faction from, uh, are they in Fallout 1? They're in one of the older games, I don't remember exactly. They're essentially just, uh, the, the coppers from Mad Max 1. They're sort of police that just go around killing criminals. So it makes sense for them to come after you if you've been bad in general, you know? Because that's what they do. Talon Company, there is no explanation for them. <laughs> uh, but if we kill these guys, we can take their combat armor, which is uh, the best thing about them. Hey, can't we talk this out? Pretty sure we can't. <laughs> no. No, I didn't no. think so. I don't think so. Oh! Oh, there's three of them. Ooh. All right, what do you have? Some kind of machine gun? You've got a pistol, you've got a rifle. All right, machine gun guy, you've got to go first. Oh, they are quite heavily armored. Uh-oh. This might not go so good. Help me out, Noodle. Which one of you dicks has grenades? No! <laughs> Noodle, no! You killed my dog! Holy shit, these guys are well armored. Noodle! Ooh. Okay. You know, maybe it's for the best. <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. We've got a cat eye, so we're gonna pop that so we can actually see what's happening out there. And I think, <laughs> let's bring out the old wrist breaker. Noodle, be careful, okay? In an alternate universe, things did not go so well out there. Let's try it again. Okay, well, what are you waiting for? I love it when they go down fighting. Look at that tiny pistol. You got a tiny... Oh! Oh, that didn't kill them? Die. Die. Why do you have so much health? Why do you have so much health? Oh, he's got a laser rifle. Stop shooting my dog. Holy shit, you have a lot of health. No! <laughs> no. Be remembered. I want this one's head on a fucking plate. How are we losing to these guys? What is what is what okay, alright, now you decide to suddenly hit. Okay. What <laughs> You know what? That's on me. <laughs> I was tempting fate there. If it isn't a little safe from All the All right. Vault. Yep, yep, yep. What are you waiting for? Back away, back away, back away. Oh, holy shit. Oh, I got a, a shotgun of penis. No. You know, maybe if I just wait till morning, they'll be gone. Let's, let's just wait. <laughs> Tired of getting my ass kicked. Let's see if they're still out there. Oh no, they're staking out this location. Oh, I left Noodle inside. I told him to wait. Uh, okay. Well now. This may actually be better, because now Noodle won't get killed. Over here. Oh. Okay, alright. They're like the... Fucking Terminator, they just get right back up. Uh, oh! No, 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 no! <laughs> oh, that guy's got a huge shotgun. Uh. <laughs> oh no. Now they've got all this cover and I'm out in the open. This is not going well. 
There we go. Laser pistol cuts right through their armor. Maybe I should be using that more. Oh, yeah, I should be using that more. Oh. Where is he? Oh, is he is he stuck in the burning motorcycle? <laughs> Looks like it. Got him. OK. Oh. <laughs> oh, you guys suck. Give me that. Give me that. All right. Well, at least now we have some combat armor. That's that's quite nice. Private contract. Kill Liam Neeson Jr. Boys and girls, we got ourselves another holier than thou white knight needs putting down. Here are the details. Name, Liam Neeson Jr. Race Caucasian. Sex male. The bounty is 1000 caps. I'm carrying like twice that much. That seems low. Like that's a decent amount of caps, but that seems low to murder a guy for no reason. That, that, that's not the amount I would risk my life for. I mean, as a player character, I suppose I've risked my life for a whole lot less uh, several times. Moira Brown asked me to break my leg for a bag of jelly beans. Uh, what do we got here? Let's uh, definitely put that on 32. Yeah, that's way better. It's not better than my metal. It is better than my metal helmet. All right. <laughs> Fine. I just bought this helmet. All right. Should we do it? Should we finally go look for the family? <laughs> no more distractions. Let's see if they're down here. Oh, it's dark. Ever since I got blown up by that motorcycle out there fighting those guys, something about my physics has been all screwed up. Look at that. What are my legs doing? <laughs> my, my like animations or physics or skeleton or something got messed up by that explosion and it... Oh, it seems to be sticking. <laughs> oh, no. I got the Jimmy legs. Hey, yeah, reloading fixed it. Good. <laughs> my legs are, my legs are working again. Lovely. All right, Noodle, let's go. We're immediately running into dead guys. That can't be good. Let's go take a piss. Someone's here. Someone pissing in here. It's a mole rat. Got him. <laughs> Sneak attack on the mole rat. Metal Gear mole rat. Ah. Noodle. I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm dummy thick. The clap of my ass cheeks alerted the mole rats. Tin can sexy sleepwear. Oh, you know we're taking that. Uh, some Insta mash, cool, and some pork and beans. Uh oh, <laughs> Noodle, you gotta warn me if mole rats are sneaking up on us, okay? Oh, there's, yeah, radiation leaking from the pipes. Lovely. Ladies room. Oh, it was a lady mole rat. There's some more cat eye. Uh, that save didn't end up working out, so we actually still have our cat eye. Oh! Look at that. Little teddy bear can watch you poop. Nothing in here. What about in the men's room? Nothing in here either? Doesn't look like it. 
All right. Well, Noodle, I think we can safely conclude Ian is not taking a dump. Lucy will be very happy to hear that. Probably. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not, not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? That depends on what your secrets are. <laughs> uh, what secrets? The secret of making Ultra Jet, obviously. Oh, damn it. Now the cat's out of the bag. Typical me. <laughs> you guys making super drugs down here? Uh, what the heck are you talking about? Stop trying to talk your way out of this, zombie. <laughs> you making super chems? I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. <laughs> Some random stranger stumbles into your... your drug cooking operation and you off, uh, immediately offer them a job. Nothing's free in this world, Murphy. A name that you have not told me, but that I know. Yeah, no kidding. I didn't think you were a freaking charity. It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. For every oh, box shit. of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So you in? Are we smoking that pre-war cereal? Uh... Dang, my barter's not high enough. <laughs> Let me think about it a bit. What is it with you people? Stop thinking so much. That's what got us all here in the first place. Yeah, that's a fair assessment. I'm stealing your cans, Murphy. Hey, is there like a kid yeah. down here? You got something to say? Barrett? Get away from me, smooth skin. All right, you must be the security, I guess. Oh, we can take this stuff. Oh, never mind. That one's. <laughs> they don't own these cans, but they do own these cans. Sure. And that Abraxo is also theirs. Making a mess of your. your meth lab. You got Nuka Colas in here. <sighs> Taking this duct tape. You don't own that duct tape. Mines. A single bottle cap. Don't, don't, don't go rooting around in my desk. That's where I keep my bottle cap. My precious, precious bottle cap. Whoa! All right, I think we can guess what the ingredients to Jet are. <laughs> it's laundry detergent and breakfast cereal. Can we cook here? No. Noodle. Noodle, we need to cook. My product is 99% pure. Whoa! Noodle, you want to go down into the radioactive sewer? Did a, uh... <laughs> did a street gang kidnapping a child come through this meth lab and hide in the radioactive sewer? You guys know anything about that? I'm just gonna check. Oh, it continues to be quite radioactive down here, yeah. Good. Good. Taking these cans. With any luck, there's some lead in them that'll protect me from the radiation. How did a Brahmin get down here? I don't think it would even fit. Taking that. 
We're gonna bring it back to this Brahmin's family. So they can have a proper burial. What's down here? Mole rats? Scorpions? Meyer lurks? Oh, fuck. Aha, now you're blind. Now you're dead. There's more coming up. I may want to use some rat away soon. I'm not doing so good. Here we go. Sneak attack. Accept, please. There we go. Crab battle. Noodle, remember to use your CQC. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah, I thought I heard a trip wire. <laughs> oh, that that lasted just long enough that I thought maybe I was hearing things. <laughs> Taking this milk bottle. Oh, man. Does the, uh, I need to check how the... I have a mod on that ragdolls you when you get hit with explo uh, explosions. That's how the original Fallout 3 worked, but New Vegas doesn't do it anymore. So I, I added a mod that adds that back in. What is... What is happening? I don't... What do you even say about that? I don't fucking... Know what to do, you fucking cans. Um... Oh! <laughs> I don't know if the armor... And my stats are making more, me more resistant to explosives than before? Or if maybe that mod I added changes the way explosives work? Or maybe, uh, maybe the ragdolling effect is sensitive far outside the range that the damage affects you. That, that counts as stealing? Sure. It, it does seem like explosives are throwing me like crazy, even when they're not hurting me that bad, which is odd. It's possible that's just the weird way this mod is implementing that feature again. Um, but it might be making some under the hood changes that I wasn't expecting. Did somebody set up a minefield just to keep the mire lurks out? Is this tunnel how the Brahmin got in? That's a shotgun. Is there a tripwire? Oh! There it is. <laughs> okay. Hmm, can't, can't do anything about that. We're just going to leave that there. Doom, th uh, Doom 3. Fallout 3's weird shotgun design. I love it. It's like a weird pump shotgun, but it's got a, uh... There we go. It's got like a big-ass magazine on the front. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case you wanted, like, 40 extra shells hanging off the front of the barrel. Oh, my legs. Let's fix that real quick. Hello? Why can't I... Why can't I click that? 
What? What's happening with my game? Why can't I heal my limbs? Oh no. There we go. Let's get some of that radiation away. I still can't seem to select my limbs. I reloaded my game and it's still not letting me. I would really like to heal up that leg. <laughs> oh, fallout. Held together by duct tape and wishes. Oh, there's a guy. You're friendly. Okay. No more landmines, right? I'm not going to awkwardly step on a landmine on my way over to you. Hello? You coming to talk to me? Whoa, whoa. Slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? Found him. <laughs> I really need to get through here. Please let me in. Uh, I'm wondering what I could do with all these spare caps I have. Uh, just exploring, sorry. I'm not telling you Jack. Now let me get by. Now hang on a second. I have a letter for Ian West from his sister. I'm a mailman. Oh, the new kid? Yeah, Vance said we should be expecting someone soon. Oh. You can head on in, but I would speak to Vance first if I was you. You can find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. All right, so they were expecting me. The new kid. Has Ian joined the gang? Tell me about the family. We are a badass gang, and we don't take shit from nobody. We also don't like nosy assholes who creep around asking too many stupid questions. Yeah, okay, that's fair. What is this place? This lovely hole in the ground is Moresti, the headquarters of the family. All right, well, I have to go now. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. Uh, huh. Be careful, Noodle. Why don't you look where you're going? Uh, okay. <laughs> look at all this stuff. Can't take any of this. Oh, are you gonna follow me? Are you, are you going to bed? We are a badass gang. We don't take shit from anybody. We take naps in the middle of the day. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> We're a badass street gang. We like our we like our milk cold and our bed soft. Ham radio. Let's hack into this terminal. Yeah, yeah, I lost karma because I hacked the gang's computer. Okay. Unlock access door. Is that just the gate that we just came in? I think it might be. That was probably not worth it. <laughs> Unless it's this. Maybe he unlocked this for me. We lost karma for nothing. This is very Metro, uh, 2033, is that the one? Metro Last Light, Metro Redux, you know, that series. Just people living in train tunnels under the city. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Look at how cozy this is, I love this. <laughs> this is always one of my favorite quests in this whole game, just because all the places you get to see are, are really neat. All the characters I thought were pretty well thought out. I mean, we'll see when we get to talk to them. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm <laughs> remembering a rosier version of this than uh, it really is. But we'll, we'll see. Noodle, get ready to talk to a lot of people. Well, hey there, cutie. How's it hanging? Great, actually. 